friends, welcome to my Castle Cast YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to talk about the solar system. But before that, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Our solar system is one of the 500 solar systems in the entire Milky Way galaxy. The solar system came into being about 4.5 billion years ago when a cloud of gas and dust collapsed, resulting a solar nebula. A swirling disk of material that collided to form the solar system. Located in the Milky Way's Orion star cluster. Only 15% of stars host planetary systems and one of the stars is our own Sun. Revolving around the Sun are 8 planets. The planets are divided into two categories based on their composition, terrestrial and jovian. Terrestrial planets including Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are primarily made of rocky material. Their surfaces are solid, they don't have ring systems, they have very few or no moons and they are relatively small. Now about the terrestrial planets one by one. Mercury Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system and has the shortest orbit, which is approximately 88 days and has no moons. Venus Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system and the temperatures are up to 867 degrees Fahrenheit or 463.889 Celsius due to an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and extensive lava flows. And Venus doesn't have any moons. Venus takes about 225 days to orbit the Sun. It's the same size as Earth, but it spins the opposite way. Earth The water systems on this planet help create the only known environment in the universe capable of sustaining life. The Earth's revolution is one year. The last of the terrestrial planets, Mars. Mars might have also supported life about 3.7 billion years ago when the planet had a watery surface and moist atmosphere. Mars has two moons which are Phobos and Deimos. Mars takes about 687 days to orbit the Sun. Beyond the four terrestrial planets lie the Jovian planets. The Jovian planets include gas giants Jupiter and Saturn and ice giants Uranus and Neptune. The gas giants are predominantly made of helium and hydrogen and the ice giants also contain rock ice and a liquid mixture of water, methane and ammonia. All Jovian planets have multiple moons, support ring systems, have no solid surface and are immense. The largest Jovian is also the largest planet in the solar system, Jupiter. Jupiter has 79 moons and takes 12 years to orbit the Sun. Nearby is Saturn, the solar system's second largest planet. Its signature rings are wide enough to fit between Earth and the Moon, but are barely a kilometer thick. It has 82 moons and takes 29 years to orbit the Sun. Uranus Uranus is famous for rotating on its side. It takes 84 years to orbit the Sun and has 27 moons. Next to Uranus is Neptune, the outermost planet in the solar system and also one of the coldest. 
It takes 165 years to orbit the sun and has 14 moons. Orbiting the terrestrial planets is the asteroid belt, a flat disk of rocky objects full of remnants from the solar system's formation. Another disk of space debris lies much further out and orbits the Jovian planets, the icy Kuiper belt. Apart from asteroids, the Kuiper belt is also home to dwarf planets, such as Pluto. And it's the birthplace of many comets. Beyond the Kuiper belt is the Oak Cloud, a vast spherical collection of icy debris. It is located in the edge of the solar system since that is where the gravitational and the physical influences of the sun ends. And that's all for today. And if you learned something new today, then give this video a like and share it with a friend. And don't forget to subscribe to Castle Cast. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.